These are the top 10 fundraising tips for a nonprofit organization. Number one, have a clear plan with a strong leadership and a strategy to accomplish it. The success of your fundraiser is going to hinge on a strong chairs person who has a clear message and the ability to stay focused. The organization needs someone with time, energy, and the drive to ensure that your next fundraiser is going to be a great success. Any successful fundraiser needs to have a clear plan and a sound organizational structure. Try tapping into the strengths of your community and make sure that each person is assigned the right fundraising task. Avoid overburdening people with too much work, as burnout can be devastating to not only the present project, but also to future efforts. Clearly define who is responsible for each task and what the timeline is. Make sure your leader has a complete understanding of every relevant detail and meets regularly to discuss issues and goals. Lack of organization will doom your fundraiser from the outset with extra cost and goals not being met. Number two, choose the right fundraising project. Ask yourself these simple questions. Who was the fundraiser for? Who was going to be doing the fundraising? fundraising fundraisers succeed when they match the appropriate age group with attainable goals. In other words, you don't want to make it so hard that the kids get frustrated, but you don't want to make it so easy that they get bored. It's also important to be creative in the fundraising tasks you embark upon. Everyone cannot sell wrapping paper. Number three, incentive prizes are effective, but only if you choose the right ones. It has been clearly established that incentive prizes are a great motivator for group fundraising. However, this method is only effective if the prizes are truly a motivation. A great suggestion is meeting with some or all of the group to determine whether they are considered prizes. Number four, teaching not only the pitch, but sales skills. In addition to being a fundraising opportunity, these campaigns can also be a confidence builder for young people. Young people can learn the pitch they are offering to prospective donors as well as so simple social skills such as introducing themselves and public speaking. Young volunteers should be encouraged to learn how to describe their group, its goals, and the projected outcomes. Ultimately, it is important that they are able to convey the outcome of the donation and its effect on the recipients. It is essential that they learn to be polite, smiling and saying thank you even when someone does not donate. There is no telling who could be a donor in the future. Number five, motivate the team. You need to get your group, crew, class, or team motivated. A great way to motivate kids is to get them to work in teams. It's also a great way to foster team spirit. You can have a daily or weekly prize that rewards the top sellers or teams. Number six, set clear goals and deadlines. It is vital to have clear and concise goals and deadlines. Identify what we need. How are we going to get what we need? Who is going to participate to help us reach our goals and what is the dollar amount that we need to raise? How much money do we have to raise and how much time do we have to achieve this goal? Number seven, reward the most motivated team. Set achievable goals right away. Whatever team or individual hits 100, 200, 300, bam, reward them with an Applebee's gift card or iTunes gift card, whatever makes them happy. Number eight, do fewer fundraisers, but do them well. It is better to concentrate your efforts on fewer fundraisers and do them well to achieve your fundraising goals. Sometimes less can be more. Focus on the quality of your fundraiser you choose to do. It is good practice to be aware of what other schools, sports leagues, and churches are doing with their fundraising activities. No one wants to go to a car wash twice in one day. And here's a bonus tip for all of you internet gurus out there. Online fundraising is a critical component of any fundraising strategy. Online fundraising is growing very rapidly, and when people hear about your fundraising, they want to learn more or seek updates on your group. People will visit your website, so be sure to have a Donate Now button in a very prominent spot. Tap into your social networks. Utilize your social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. We all know the statistics of social media. Go where the people are on social network. Facebook by far is the most popular platform, but do not overlook other social media sites. Social media should be a part of every fundraising plan. So there you have it our top 10 fundraising strategies from all of us at Scholar's Discount Card.